Good morning, welcome back to the channel, guys. Check it out! This is the jar thing that I was telling you about. This is the lace I grabbed from the bins. I already had the string. I don't know where I got that. Garbage packed it, probably. And these are the music pages. And if this little piece of lace would move out of the way, it says... Midnight, Moonlight... I'll we'll screw that up. Moonlight Sonata. It's <laughs> Moonlight Sonata in a jar. So, that was kind of my idea. Put one together last night. I'm going to stick in the booth and see what happens. I don't know. I think it looks cute. With, ugh, if my hand wasn't in the way, you guys could actually see it. But yeah, I don't know. I thought it was neat. Crafty me. <laughs> getting older, I guess you get crafty. Alright, we're gonna head to the bins and see what else we can find that I could put in jars. Cool, been here for like five minutes and already finding stuff. I feel like that is going to make today a good day. That is awesome. Probably tag that for the antique booth. This needs a little oxy bath, but it's, it's like a freaking crazy quilt. It's awesome. Found something for myself. There's not much left in here. Unbreakable Bond by Chloe Lamar. Smells really good. And then fill this with some good A's. That obviously good for shipping. Oh, I got the crew coming out. They're gonna pull out old bins. A bunch of really nice handles. And a frame. Is it old? Looks old to me. I'm gonna have to look that up. This cart is getting full. It's just fabric, but it's so cool. Probably put that in a bag and stick it in the bins, or in the bins, in the booth. It's a freaking hamster. That'll also go to the booth. Start a new um, doily bag. This is brand new. Doing pretty good today. I'm having fun with it. Holy crap. So Tuesdays apparently are the where are, are the way to go. I just hit the doily mother load. Mother load of doilies. That is this whole bag is full. Other than except for that. I gotta go through them, but oh my gosh. Doily mother load. I could do multiple bags of twelve. Oh, I'm bummed about him or her. I don't know, that might be too much for me to try to get out. I've got a full cartload. I think I'm gonna put him back. <laughs> I'm doing swell today. I love the colors on this. Love it. Also found that, which I thought was really cute. Found the Daily Vera. Can't come here without finding at least one Vera thing. As long as the zippers and all that are good, I think I might keep that. That's a really nice backpack. And then this. Okay, so you guys know I want to do the white Christmas tree that I can kind of just swap out year-round. And I've, I've got all that stuff for, um, to make, like, end of summer to do a sunflower tree. Dude, are you kidding me? Keeping that. And then this is a cherry, I gotta look those up. It's from Carnival Cruise Line. Some of these are worth a decent amount of money. Oh, there's the carnival. So I'm gonna see if I can find any info on that. Oh no. Fail. All right, so I'm not getting this. Hmm, seven, six, ten. Uh, I think I'm gonna put them back. I will tell you what, I can get used to these giant hauls. Although it does make a lot more work for me. They're just so much fun. They're so much more fun. Then look, I found six things. I spent $47 and some change. I don't remember exactly what the change was. And the receipt is in my wallet. So I'm gonna start and we'll just we'll just start chomping away. This is brand new Revlon Pro Style heated silicone brush. It's interesting. I think eBay, I should be like at 18-ish plus shipping, I think. So, not bad. I grabbed, ooh, I guess we'll do the hamster. <clears throat> at least I think it's a hamster. Pretty sure that's a hamster. This guy's just going to get tagged up and taken to the antique booth. I think that he won't last very long. Uh, the wood stock that we took there from last week's haul, gone already. 
So this guy probably like six or seven bucks. <sighs> this awesome blanket. I have quite a few blankets in the booth, so this might get listed on eBay, I think. Now I'll do all these. They are a pretty decent sized lot of these like hammered copper drawer poles. That's what they look like. These will probably fetch a decent amount. I'm thinking at least 25 to 35. Plus the cost of shipping. So I think I did pretty well there. This thing, these will probably go on eBay. It's just like a decorative hanging thing. I'm gonna tag it for the booth. Be cute for spring, put some flowers on it and call it good. This freaking thing drove me crazy. I still can't find any comps. I have zero idea. It looks vintage to me. My original thought was just to take it to the antique booth. I don't know though. <laughs> I don't know. I probably will just take it to the antique booth for now. If I end up finding information on it later, I can always change my mind and put it online. It's kind of heavy though, and it's awkward shaped box. It would be swell not to have to ship it. This little Halloween bottle brush I'm going to keep. This is mine. Mine, I tell you. You'll see it somewhere in my house next year. This year, later this year, because it is now 2023. It's just a tiny little Bible. I don't know. Put a tag on it, stick it in the antique booth, see what happens. Same with this little bushel basket bin thing. Also going to go to the booth. This is neat. I don't know exactly what you would do with it. But I thought it was, I thought it was neat. I don't know. Maybe, probably booth. These are two kid size Tupperware cups and I do have Tupperware cups that I found yesterday that are larger sized. I might lot these with those. Stick them on eBay. This I got as a stand for the headlamps. And I'm not saying headlamps like in a car. I'm saying headlamps as in a doll head that lights up. You know, a doll head. I actually really like that. <laughs> Something along those lines is what I was thinking. I know it's like originally made for a candle holder. But that doesn't mean it can't be a doll headlight stand. I wonder if the other one that I have would fit on there. I don't know. That head looks a little large for that. Hey, guys. Oh, no. It fits perfect. You're kidding me. Why is that so perfect? Dude! I'm gonna have to make another one now. This one's already listed. Um, when we go to the booth, I might grab another art doll. Super nerd not about that right now. This I just thought was cute for the booth. Valentine's Day is coming up. I don't know. Stick it in the booth, see what happens. Oh, we've got the inspection crew. <laughs> Can I get this? Thank you. Slade's Soap. It's just a vintage wooden sign. I'm going to look it up. I still haven't done that. But if the... I mean, it's kind of heavy. So maybe, I'm, maybe I should just save myself the trouble and stick it in the booth. Keeping this. I just love him. He's going to go with my fall decor until I reach the end of the summer. When I start decorating with sunflowers, he will go probably by the tree or next to the sunflower tree when I put it together. I love him. And then this will get to put away until Christmas season 2023, in which it will be put up for sale. This will likely go to the antique booth too, which sucks because I was thinking about doing this run tomorrow. And we're supposed to get, like, a ton of snow that starts after midnight tonight, and it's just supposed to get gnarly. So I don't think I'll be going anywhere, which means I need to get my life together after I do this haul and go to the grocery store and get ran over with the other people that are trying to, um, you know, prep for a storm that may or may not happen. 
Now, I know I showed you one of the last videos. I got a little mantle clock I was planning on repurposing. Um, this one, if it doesn't work, I might repurpose since I decided not to repurpose the other one. And then I did also get this one, which is not an old clock. Um, and I can take this base off and just use this. But it's got like a bubble glass, which is going to be perfect for whatever bone or taxidermy thing or mummified whatever I decide to put in it. Ooh, a mummified whatever would be super cool. What do I have that I can mummify? I'll get back to you on that. <clears throat> this I'm also keeping. I just don't know what I'm doing with it yet. But it had skulls on it and it's super soft. <laughs> I kind of love it. Oh, I'm a sucker for tie bears. He's 1999. He has his tags. Does he have a name? Classic tie. Belvedere, oh my gosh. His name is Belvedere. I'm such a sucker. He will likely just go to the booth. I have really good luck with selling stuffed animals in the booth. I don't know. They sell quick. Not for like a ton of money, but they add up. This is also going to go to the booth because I don't want to start looking like a hoarder. I have a lot of stuff in this house right now. I'm trying to get organized. Um, and I just thought this was cute. Put some flowers in it. Just scream spring. And even though it's January, my head is in... I was going to say spring, but it's always in October. This guy is just neat. He's an outdoor, like, flag hanger guy for Halloween. So he will get tucked away until fall. This I think I'm going to put in just like a gallon sized bag and tag up for the booth. It's just really pretty fabric. I don't know. I like that. This, I already have one online so I can tag this one up and either use it in the booth to hang stuff in now that I just thought that I was going to tag it. I might use it. I know we just took the one and hung it on the back of that wooden shelf, and it's fine for mugs, but I don't have anything to hang other things on. So maybe I'll put this up somewhere else and use it to hang things. We'll see. I just listed and sold one of these that we also got at the bins. And this one is also clean and in really good condition. I think I got 15 for the other one. I don't quite remember, but I'm pretty sure it was like 15. So I should get about the same for that one. I'm going to have Rich look at these. I could only find one listed, no solds. This is like way more his wheelhouse, but these are in really good condition. And I figured worst case, again, I can just stick a tag on it and stick it in the booth. Because they are neat, but the one that I've uh, seen listed had uh, rectangular ear cuff pieces, not the ovals, but they were listed for like 28 something plus shipping, so maybe, I don't know. I thought this was really cute too. It's like, it's a newer crazy quilt basically. I liked it. I don't know if this is going to get tagged for the booth or get put online. Like I said, I have a lot of blankets at the booth right now that aren't moving, so I think the blankets really right now should go online. It's a lime slice <laughs> pillow. I just thought it was neat. It's kind of got that 50s retro vibe going, even though it's not vintage, I don't think. But it's got that vibe, and I liked it. Can anybody guess what this is? You would think kitchen ladle, right? It's actually not. It is an outdoor hanging bird bath. I also used to think that they were kitchen ladles. I was wrong. <laughs> so they hang outside, they collect rainwater, and it's like a little bird bath. So I always pick those up when I see them. They sell for like 20, 25 bucks. Sometimes they sit, sometimes they sell pretty quick. Um, this doesn't have a ton left in it, but for five cents, I'll use it for a week. It is Unbreakable Bond by Chloe and Lamar. Didn't they break up? <laughs> it does smell really good, and when you live in a house with four cats, a dog, and two dudes, 
I am a big fan of anything that smells good. So for five cents, I will smell good for a week. I got more cigar boxes. I got this one. And then these two match, I think. I got these two. I tagged the other one up for five bucks. So I'll probably tag these ones up for five bucks as well. And those can go to the booth. <clears throat> this, I'm going to try to do something with. I don't know if you guys pay attention when I talk. If you do sweet, you should still do that. This is from a really old grave. Elizabeth, 1855 to 1943. I have a couple more of these that I really want to frame. And so I've been looking for the right size frames. Um, I have one that says father with some numbers. Oh, I don't know what my dog is barking at. Please ignore him. There's nothing even out there. I don't even know what he's barking at. But um, I'm going to see if I can get any of the pieces that I need frames for to fit into this. I do have more matting if I need it. And then, excuse me. Excuse me. I hit the mother load of doilies. Jeez, go. Mother load of doilies. <laughs> There's so many doilies. Half of this freaking bag is filled with what? Say it again? Yeah, doilies. There's so many. So the last giant haul we did, I had uh, gallon sized bags of these and I just shoved a bunch in a bag and tagged them for 12 bucks, stuck them in the antique booth. It sold right away, I think next day. So I think I'm going to do the same thing for these, uh, shove a bunch into some gallon bags. Oh, Keegan's home, that's what the dog's barking at. Shove these into some gallon bags, tag them for 12 bucks each, and they can also go to the booth. So for $47 and some change, oh, also. This. Grish was just saying that he needed, uh, I have pretty much this exact same cart that I keep all of my crafting crap in. He was like, I need one of these for my tattoo stuff. Oh, uh, boom. Ask and you shall receive. I'm an awesome wife. So now I'm going to dig into this and then I got to go to the grocery store because it's supposed to get like snowmageddon after midnight tonight. So I need to get stuff accomplished. And I think I have two things I have to box up still. So I'll show you that on the next video because I'm not there yet. I got to clear this. So anyway, I'll see you on the next one. Bye.